Getting started in Tarkov is one of the most intense undertakings for a new game. There's so much you need to know to get started, and it won't make sense until you've died a few dozen times. Let's make that journey a bit easier. This video is the first segment in a three-part series on your first steps on an account in Tarkov. This video will cover what to do and know before your first raid. Hi guys, and welcome to my realistic guide for getting better at Tarkov. The theme here is on how to get better without being able to frag out your entire way through a match. You don't need to be the top 1% to be able to make your way through this game. Welcome to Tarkov. Alright, let's get started with a new fresh account, Tarkov. This is going to be a standard account, and we're going to get into it from the, the choice of selection here. The beginning selection isn't too important. There are a few things aesthetically that you should care about. But your starting gear, there is differences between Bear and Yusek. Bear is going to focus more on like a bit of a, a Russian starter set. You'll have like a PP-19, some AKs, but the Yuseks are going to start with like MV5s and some N4s. That's not too important. That's going to go away eventually. You will lose it or use it, and that won't matter so much. So what's left is going to be a few aesthetical choices and the voice lines. You'll either have voice lines in English or in Russian. They're constantly adding to this. Um, it's up to your preference. There's primarily a lot of USEX over bears because these English lines, as you can understand them, are a bit more humorous. We're going to go with USEX on this account and uh, we'll continue. Now, there is a Tarkov wiki that I'll add below in the description that you can look up to find where to do your quest, how to do your quest, and so on. But we'll go through them in line as we're going through this series. As a brief aside, a scav raid, as most of you probably already know, is going to be randomly generated each time that you lose and gain a new scav. And he can go onto a map, he'll be interspersed at some point in the raid. He goes in, loots, and tries to make his own extract. There is a scav karma system, so I recommend that you look up something about that. I'll link a good video down below so we can cover it on the channel. But you don't want to screw your fence favor by not knowing about that system. So I encourage you to go look up that subject. A brief aside before we get into the meat of this, let's go through a brief tour of the controls and display settings that I use. So I'm not going to go too much into the graphics. We'll, we'll put that up in a little bit, something separate. Some of the things that you want to adjust in the beginning are going to be around this this first section here. Now, this is my preferred loadout um, is that you're going to want to see your items, your stamina and stance, your health condition. The color scheme is pretty helpful. You can go monochromatic. It, it's less information and the more information you have available at any one point in time, the better it's going to be for you. So this is the general setup that I go with when it comes to that. Now, the other thing that you want to immediately do is you want to go all the way down to the bottom control here and set another hotkey option for discard. Now, there's a very big reason why you want to be very quick in Tarkov, and that's so you don't die. There are hotkeys and there's quick methods for doing everything. There's, there's a way to be efficient. We'll get into those things, but it all starts here. You want to set your discard up to something that's super quick and easy to access. Some people like you, some people like Z. I prefer Z. Now, there is another option here for throwing your backpack that is drop backpack here. Now, this is currently, it's initially set to be a double click on Z. I would rebind that because sometimes it can get a little bit janky and can like you might drop your backpack when you're just intending to discard an item that would be super helpful. Now, here's the trader screen. There's a brief rundown of, you know, eight different vendors that we want to go through real quick. Proper, he's going to sell you some grenades. He's going to sell you beginning weaponry. Almost all the vendors will have weapon parts, so we'll get into that in a later date. Therapist is going to sell you your healing items that you'll generally need, as well as some food and water that you might want in the beginning. Fence is, I think, like a, a pawn shop. You're not going to really be using him all that much unless you're looking for very specific things and he might have a chance of carrying it. Skier, he's going to be more weapons and stuff. Peacekeeper is going to be more weapons and stuff. Mechanic is mostly about gun parts and Ragman is about like early armor and bags, uh, headsets and stuff like that. Now, Jaeger, you have to unlock by doing a quest and we'll get to that in just a second. But you need to unlock him in order to sell melee weapons and stuff too. Like I said, we'll deal with the traders at a later point. I just wanted you to have a quick overview of what each of these guys do. we got two things to do here, though, before we proceed. One, we're going to come in here and we're going to see that there's a bunch of stuff that's not identified. And we can see in our inventory we have stuff that is identified. And we'll get into a breakdown of that in just a little bit. But we'll come in here and identify all these things in a little bit. The other thing that you need to do is accept the, first, the beginning tasks. So there's debut by proper. So you click on tasks and click accept. You'll get that. Now, what he wants you to do is go kill some scavs on customs and gain some MP133 shotguns. Over here on therapist, kind of the same thing. You've got shortage. So she wants some found and raid Salewa kits. You have a couple options for these beginning quests. A found and raid is a very specific interaction where you actually have to find the item in a raid that was spawned in that raid and get it out of the raid alive. If you die, 
you're going to lose the item or it's found in raid status if you're keeping it in your container pouch. The MP133 shotguns don't have to be found in raid. You can actually buy them from Jaeger, which is why you would want to unlock him pretty early on in this so you can get off that quest if you're not having luck finding your shotguns. The hideout is another activity that we can get into real quick. You do want to be progressing with this. They confer a number of benefits and we'll get into that in a separate video. But just for now, the things that we want to look at are going to be illumination because you can just unlock it for 10,000 rubles. Go ahead and purchase that. Okay, come back over here to Vince. Same th same theme. 25,000 ruble gets, gets you the construct. Now, later hideout upgrades are going to take specific item requirements as well, and they might take longer to unlock. So the thing that we really want in the beginning is going to be med station. And the reason why we want med station is that we can actually craft Salewas so that we can complete our first therapist mission. One quick hotkey that you guys should know is middle click. A middle click serves a number of benefits. Uh, primarily, it's for identifying things that you don't have visual acuity on. So anything that's grayed out, you need to identify to go ahead and middle click that. And so what we need here is 50,000 rubles, a disposable syringe that you can just double click or you can right click and inspect on, and a pack of meds. So those are going to be some of the items that we're looking for in the beginning in our first raid. It's going to be the Salewas, the 133 shotguns, the pack of meds, and the syringe. The next piece that we're going to scroll through here is a little bit of the inventory top. We get some starter armors, some starter rigs, some starter weaponry. Like I said, it depends on which side you chose and what it gives you. None of this is going to be great stuff, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. You can see our stash size is really small here. So we're actually going to go into how to organize some of that later on. And then the last thing to do before we get started is going to be identifying stuff so that we can unlock, so we can hit level two and then get the, the introduction quest to unlock Jaeger. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. We'll just kind of fast forward through that. You don't have to sit through all this part and I'll see you on the other side. Uh, one thing to note about Fence is that he'll constantly restock his items. So it's worthwhile every now and then to come in here and check to see what wares he has and see if there's anything else for you to identify. Another really important aspect for identifying this stuff is, is that you at the very least want to identify magazines and guns and probably the armors so that when you encounter them in raid, you can't actually interact with them until you identify them outside of picking them up. But if it's something like you need to pick this gun up really quickly so that you can use it to shoot somebody or something to that effect, you need to identify these things because otherwise it's going to make you do that before it'll let you interact with it. And if you pick up a gun that you haven't identified the magazine to, He's not going to actually do the reload animation until you actually identify that magazine. So watch out for that or it'll probably bite you. Next, you can see we just hit level two down there and that's going to open up our next task. So once we get done examining all the rest of the stuff, we'll go over to mechanic and accept our next few tasks and then we'll get on the road. All right, that covers all the identifications. We check off the handbook. We'll get rid of the, the icons on the messenger. We'll go to mechanic, select tasks. Now we can see that we're level two. He's got a, a gunsmith quest for us. Now when you accept this, you get a second quest available. It's called introduction. Now introduction is the first quest you take in order to unlock Jaeger, which will get us access to our last guy here. All right, guys, and with that, we're going to cut it there. That's the end for getting introduced to the menus of Tarkov. We'll get into more of the specifics later. Um, but now we're going to jump over to the next video. We're going to go into customs and figure out how we're going to start our first quest. And if you want to see some of this stuff in action, you can come check me out on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Texas Deviant, where I'm streaming uh, most days of the week. Hope to see you there.